Hi and welcome to your next lecture in computer science for everyone. This time we don't have a presentation because we're going to download the JDK and the IDE. So the JDK stands for Java Development Kit. So what I've done is I've gone to Google or your search engine of choice. In my case I use DuckDuckGo and I've searched for Java JDK and then this brings you to Java SE downloads. Java SE, oh, I don't know what this is. Okay, cookies, doesn't matter. Java SE stands for Java Standard Edition. This is the one we want. So then we come here. Java Platform JDK, version 7, update 45, and we download it. And then this will bring you to here. You must accept the license agreement and download the, um, the version for your platform. In my case, I'm using Mac, so I would download this version for Mac OS X. If you're using Windows, you would download the 64 or 32-bit version. Remember, we've talked about which bit version your system uses. So, depending on which computer you've got, which operating system you've got, you'll download the 32 or 64-bit version. And similarly for Linux users, there's the uh, the ones for your version Solaris and stuff like that. I don't think any of you would be using Solaris because um, that is a bit more complex, and you probably wouldn't be taking this course if you were. So. Linux versions are here, Mac OS, Windows versions. Download them. You don't want any of the demos or anything like that. You rem remember you need to accept the license agreement. Once you've done that and installed, it will take quite uh, a few minutes. Uh, once you've done that, we can go to eclipse.org. Here. And go on to download Eclipse and you want to download Eclipse IDE for Java developers. So this one. And similarly here you can select which operating system you've got, Windows, Linux, or Mac, and then download the 64 or 32-bit version appropriately. So for Windows it should be here as well. Indeed. This is also a, a fairly big download, 151 megabytes, and the install shouldn't take very long. Um, so once you've done both of those, you'll have the JDK installed and Java installed. So we can launch Eclipse and start programming. So let's go into the next lecture where we will start explaining um, the basics of Java and then we'll start programming. So stick with me and let's go into the next lecture.